Thanks again for joining me here at But Now Ministry. And today we're going to talk about celebrating Jesus' resurrection. And I want you to ask yourself if this is true, what I'm going to tell you. Easter is celebrated across the world as one of the most significant Christian holy days, as Roman 1-4 affirms. And I don't know what translation they are using from this article, but look it up and see if it's right, if you are a 1769 King James Bible believer. Romans 1-4 affirms, Through the Spirit of Holiness, parentheses, Jesus, was appointed the Son of God in power by His resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. On this day, Christians pause to remember the great sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, as well as the ultimate triumph of His resurrection. Benjamin Rush, signer of the Declaration, pointed out how Jesus' resurrection redeemed man to God and each other. He for great, and this is what Benjamin Rush says. He forgave the crime of murder on his cross, and after his resurrection, he commanded his disciples to preach the gospel of forgiveness, first at Jerusalem, where he well knew his murderers still resided. These striking facts are recorded for our imitation and seemed intended to show that the Son of God died not only to reconcile God to man, but to reconcile men to each other. How about that one? The gospel of forgiveness. That's what Jesus commanded his disciples to preach, according to Benjamin Rush. He command, Jesus commanded his disciples to preach the gospel of forgiveness. Did you get that? And then, and President Ronald Reagan reminded the nation of the hope that Easter brings. Beginning today and culminating on Sunday morning, Christians will celebrate with their families the resurrection of Christ, his victory over death. We will remember that he gave his body and his blood, washing clean the faults and the shortcomings of the world. In our rejoicing, we will renew the hope that is ours through the risen Lord. So, let's go back to the gospel of forgiveness. Let's see what our 1769 King James Bible says about that. What do you guys think? The gospel of forgiveness. Matthew 4.23, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and hearing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Matthew 9.35, And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Notice, he wasn't in anybody's churches. He was in their synagogues. Okay? Who goes to the synagogue? and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Matthew 24, 14, And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all the nations, and then shall the end come. Mark 1, 14, Now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. And Matthew 1, 15, And saying the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. So Benjamin Rush was wrong. Jesus Christ did not preach the gospel of forgiveness. He preached the gospel of the kingdom. And why? Because Romans 15.8 says, Now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God to confirm the promises made unto the fathers. Do you study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman who needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth? Or do you believe people like Benjamin Rush? Do you believe people who say that Easter is biblical? Do you believe people that say that Good Friday and Easter Sunday is three days and three nights? Do you believe people when they say that Jesus Christ rose again in the morning when John says it was yet dark. You need to get this right. 
study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman who needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. The word, the verse says study, not sing. The word says rightly divide the word of truth, not accurately handle. Thanks again for listening. Check out my other message which I just put up on how Jesus ruined my Easter. You probably had fun. Thanks again for listening. If you have any doctrinal questions, email me from my contact page at preachingthegospelatsaves.com. Check out my two YouTube channels. Check out my bookstore blog. And check out my study on Ephesians. Happy Easter!